Hi guys, welcome back to PNW Homebody. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my most requested furniture flips using my faux staining technique. I'm gonna show you the pictures and I'm gonna show you how to register for my upcoming workshop uh, where I'm going to be taking you step-by-step -step through this technique. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all things interior design, flea market flips, and DIY tutorials. If you happen to miss this upcoming workshop, go ahead and subscribe at pnwhomebody.com and I'll send you my flip for profit cheat sheet just for stopping by and then you'll be notified anytime I have another workshop coming up. Okay, so let's dive right in. Um, you guys, some of my furniture flips that I have done, like this one here, um, some of these pieces sold for quadruple what I paid for them on Marketplace. So whether you're trying to do this as a furniture flipping business or you just want some pieces that you want to kind of do a glow up to decorate your own home. The workshop that we will be doing um, is good for either or. So um, I've also used this technique on like this beam in this picture. This is a floating huge wood beam in my house, but um, you can get a very orange or very yellow stain color if you just take regular stain. This is a Douglas uh, Douglas fir beam. So that would have turned out really orange and I wanted it to match everything else and be cohesive with these other pieces in my home. I plan to go live each night for probably about an hour and basically sip and paint style. I'm just going to be giving you direction on exactly what I'm doing and each step that I take through this process. Let me show you a couple of before and after pictures. These are just like screenshots on my desktop. Um, but for example, like this was a glossy black coffee table. Um, actually, that was the end table. The coffee table's right here. So I had one end table and a coffee table in this. I think I paid around $50 for the coffee table and the end table and the set sold for around $225. And this was the end result here. It was a Pier 1 inspired. They had the same type of coffee table. Um, so that's how I advertised it. it was a Pier 1 inspired coffee table and it sold for a nice little junk. Um, this was an old Pottery Barn piece. I actually didn't know it was Pottery Barn until someone pointed it out when I had put it on Instagram. Um, so same type of technique on this one. This, um, I don't know where this was from and it's actually not solid wood. It's not something I typically would have purchased because I typically like to look for a solid wood piece, but I could not um, pass this one up. I loved the actual real wood grids on this glass door. So I'm going to be basically walking you through any prep steps. I don't usually prep a lot doing this technique, um, but like on this one I had to use the, uh, just the only prep I had to do was um, taping off the glass so I could stain around it and paint. So here I'm going to share with you what you get when you sign up for this workshop. You'll get an email um, thank you for joining the class. You will get my flip for profit cheat sheet, um, which I'll go ahead and click on so you guys can see it. This is something that you can get for free, um, even if you don't join the class. This is, um, if you miss this class and you still want this, um, go ahead and sign up for this and it will just um, come to your email and then you'll get notified anytime another class comes up. So the flipping for profit cheat sheet is really just a, um, what are the best selling items, the max purchase price that I would pay, supplies, um, anticipated cost, the anticipated refinish time, and then your list price um, for reselling items. So there's that. And then things to look for, solid wood, no structural damage. Um, so this will be sent to you. You can go ahead and just go to pnwhomebody.com if you wanna get that piece. All right, and you're also going to get this material list, which is pretty cool because everything is a clickable link. So you can add anything that you need to your Amazon cart and have it in time for the workshop. So this material list is specifically for the three-day faux staining workshop. Um, I'm giving you a choice between Annie Sloan or Rust-Oleum, Annie Sloan Old Ochre or Chiffon Cream. They're very similar in color. Rust-Oleum is about half price. Annie Sloan, as far as I know, can only be found in specialty shops and everything else. The only thing that's not clickable on here is the Annie Sloan. Um, so everything, if you need, you might have some of this stuff laying around, like I said. Um, and then as far as a project, obviously a dining room table probably is not the best choice for a three-day project. Um, so I am recommending that if you're going to follow along sip and paint style uh, for the workshop, I do recommend an end table or a small console table so you can have it done from start to finish. 
So if you'd like to join us, go ahead and click below post ending workshop link and you'll receive this email once you get signed up. So you get your uh, flip for profit cheat sheet, the material list, and then click here to join the workshop. And I'll just show you really quickly where that will go over to Facebook. It'll put you into this private group where the post staining uh, materials will be available in this group as well. Uh, when I go live, you're welcome to follow along with me or these videos will be in here as after I archive the group, um, they'll be in here for as long as you need them and you can do your project anytime that you're ready. So I hope to see you in class and I'll see you guys next time.